And welcome to another update video about Gala. Yeah, not much change uh, to the previous video. I'm still counting this as uh, the move off the 10th of March low to the 15th of March high as a wave one because it has a possible five wave impulse, then here an A wave down, a B wave up and a C wave down. Again, lower level price action, not terribly clear, but um, it certainly nearly has done what it needs to do, especially if we talk about this as a possible running flat structure. So, you know, this doesn't need to come down any lower. I count that as target area reached anyway here already on the 15th of March. So now it's just a bit of wait and see, you know, can it react to that yellow support area or not? If it doesn't, then it will be a bit challenging, to be honest, because, I mean, let's face it, we've got a one, two setup here, which could set up the chart for higher in a third wave. And let me again give you a target. If we get that third wave here in yellow to the upside, then we're talking about roughly and it's just a guide at this stage, 6.2 cents just for the third wave. That might change a bit depending on how low we really go and eventually it should cascade higher from here if it works out. So far I'm counting the 10th of March low here as a bottom in a wave two, oops, as a low in the wave two. And uh, yeah, it reversed out of our support area back then. It reversed in here again on the 15th of March and we're now back in this support area. Um, what I don't really like is um, at the moment across the market is this this whole flat structure situation that we have on, on a lot of crypto charts. It just doesn't give you a very clear wave two. A little bit of background here or Elliott wave education, typically in a wave two. And again, this is a wave two. This is a higher degree wave two. Um, typically in a wave two, you get a, a clear bottom. And we did get that on the 10th of March. Here we didn't. Yeah. And in a wave two, you normally are you, you normally expect to see some kind of a zigzag pattern, which this is, right? Um, of all the coins that entered our reversal areas here on the 10th of March, the vast majority created a zigzags, and a zigzag pattern is a very clear low. It gives you a clear bottom. It's so-called sharp correction. If you have in a wave two a flat correction, and this appears to be a flat correction. So what is a flat? A flat is just well, I don't want to get too much into the academic detail here, but it's basically classed as a sideways correction. And it's extremely hard to analyze because you don't really know exactly where the low is. Here it was, let's say, at least fairly clear, yeah, because we had an A wave, a B wave and the C wave. In such a flat correction where the B wave makes a new price extreme, that leaves options open quite a bit. And you can see it's just moving sideways. And in a flat correction, in such a flat where the B wave goes above the beginning of the, um, no, where the B wave goes above the high of the wave one, you can have um, a short C wave, which ends above A, or you can have a long C wave in a so-called expanded flat, which ends below the A. So this is extremely difficult, right? And that's where we have that difficult situation. That's why it's best to focus just on the let's say pivot points, um, which is here, the, the key pivot point here and key support for wave two support is the 3.34 cent level or 3.35. A sustained break below will indicate that this setup is probably going to fail. It's dead, right? We're not there at this stage. Yeah, we are holding above support actually. And as long as we're holding support, we need to treat it like that. Um, what does mean a, what, what is a sustained break? So, such a one two setup is not going to be invalidated really until it breaks below the beginning of the wave one. So technically speaking, it could go down to 3.05 cents and still go up and be a one two setup. Just that experience shows that 90% of setups where the wave two goes below the 78.6 retrace, they do fail yeah, eventually. So that's just something to, uh, to, to note, especially if we talk about a sustained break. I mean, Anything that goes below the 78.6 and comes back, whatever, within an hour or a couple of hours has a chance. But if we, if you talk about a sustained break, which means it breaks it and just consolidates below support, then it's basically dead. So just, just how to understand this, right? So as long as it holds 3.35 cents, we have a chance for a third wave rally. And that's sort of where we are. Looks like we are in a C wave, in my opinion. I mean, this m looks like corrective price action and you can use um, a trend line maybe as, as a guide, as, as support, you know, uh, for your analysis that you know when, well, you don't know, but at least as a first indication when this C wave is finished. So what I'm going to do, I'm, I'm drawing this trend line here. A break above the trend line could be a first indication that this move down is getting towards its end. But so far, we haven't seen that. 
Okay, and that's my update about Gala. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.